Hello, I'm just going to go through the bits and pieces that we've done since we arrived back from the trip up north. So one of the first things was um, a new curtain for this area here to block out the sound from the motorhome, between the motorhome and the cab. There was a curtain track up here, but unfortunately I couldn't find the glide slides to fit it, so for $20 got a new track from Spotlight. The curtain which is double sided, nice pink velour, it's my um, theatre curtain I made out of a duvet set, that was from an op shop so I've still got the pillowcase slips um, so very pleased with that, it works well, slides well, pulls on and cuts out all the noise from the back to the cab I've got rid of all the gold edging to the flooring I've spray painted those black and they've got all appropriate screws now, some were missing screws and the screws are now in a sort of nice pewter colour so the one down below there that's black that was gold before and all these others were gold including the ones um, in the entrance it's a bit dark though, you might not see those um, there were some hooks up here I've replaced them with silver coloured hooks and I've now got some string bags up there which hold fruit and vegetables. On the sink area, the marine ply board that covers the whole area is really good for extra workspace. But we did discover at times obviously you want to wash things at the sink, um, chop things up. so. Uh, for $4 I got this chopping board from an op shop, it's a bamboo chopping board. I sanded it down and my kind neighbour just cut it a bit shorter because it was a bit too long and just rounded the edges so that works really well, it just slides between the two areas. All the uh, fly screens at the back I've sprayed black because uh, some of them were a bit scratched. So they've all been sprayed black and I've um, put new fly screen on all of them as well. Bathroom area. The door handles uh, had some gold lacquer on that was coming off. So it took me quite a while but I've removed all the gold lacquer. So they're just stainless steel now and look much better. Just put this light on. Probably see that much tidier. The track that was above the um, bath there was a track along here. I didn't like that. I wouldn't have used it. it. Just looked too industrial. So I've removed that, filled the hole, sanded, and repainted the ceiling. All done it all in white. I haven't really done anything else much in here. I do want to. Um, renew this round here at a later date and probably put um, a splash back with tic tac tiles here when I got a chance to be at home to get the order and receive it before we're going off anywhere uh, on this little trip I've just done that um, coloured pencil drawing so I put that up but the frame was given to me free but I don't it's too deep so I will change that to a, a thinner frame I'm fairly happy with the little drawing. Got a new mat down here because I've got a lot of bits going down the edges into the underfloor storage so um, the mat stops that and Bronte quite likes lying on it as well. This was a sort of a a grey colour, pretty similar to that colour there, but there was chips on it. I wasn't looking forward to spraying that, but actually I did take it all out and it wasn't as bad a job as the floor edging, to be honest. So, done all the lid as well, because that was in a uh, sort of white emulsion that got dirty very quickly. And all around the edges and there are new screws the pewter coloured screws in all the holes because there wasn't screws all the way around previously so that looks much tidier looked at lots of options for a table for this area just to 
ETAP, maybe do a laptop work or crafts and in the end I got a mid-century card table um, sanded and waxed the legs the top needed quite a bit of cleaning it's just sort of a vinyl top so it's wipeable it's very light it's easy to fold down and it fits really well in this little area here so that works out all right for us pleased with that got rid of the old throws that were on the um, sofas but they needed something just to cover them because Bronte likes to jump up so um, got a couple of new throws changed some of the cushions there were some grey square cushions I got rid of those and got the new grey one there and these with the flowers on they were just second hand got $30 for all three which I think was pretty good because they're $30 each at Ikea the curtains didn't um, pull on very well and they had metal hooks so I've changed them all to plastic hooks they were just some I had at home so that works well they pull on better and I've also hooked the last hook onto the eye at the end so the curtains don't pull right across as they were doing previously I put some greenery up on the walls so I bought that pot from Kmart and then I just got some foliage, fake foliage from Spotlight and that one also was an offer from Spotlight pleased with those again I did the, the fly screens in this area and renewed the fly screen, sprayed the fly screens and renewed the screen this is the cord, quite a big cord for the electric drop down bed and that used to just stick out I had this bracket at home so I fitted that and it just holds it down out of place and I decided that hanging basket would work well just to cover that cord a bit in that area okay, but make it look a bit more homely a chap a local chap in Perth who does woodworking winter woodworking and I just asked if he could make me a sign I suggested what I wanted so that's a little sign that I just picked up before we set off so that's nice just looks good in that area there and I think that's generally about it there were some bits and pieces on the outside but for the inside that's the main bits we've done I do want to put tic tac tiles on this area here um, because these jars do scrape the wall there was a little plaque up here something to do with the oven which I removed because it didn't look it just looked a bit industrial and painted over it but eventually I will put some stick on tiles there was a lot of the previous owners had repainted the walls and there was a lot of um, paint on areas where they shouldn't be so I've removed all that and some other areas that weren't painted so well I maybe sanded, filled some areas and repainted eventually I want to get rid of these gold door fasteners and the gold around the clock, don't like any of the gold probably do a pewter but that's a job for the future and there's another little pot there from Spotlight and a bit more greenery I'll leave you with our view out the back currently we're in Nanup. Okay, bye. A few signs there. Just about every town in uh, Western Australia by the looks of it. Catherine's heading over to the uh, caravan park where we're thinking of staying for the night. We haven't got booked in yet, but we've been in communicado uh, with them through email. So we're going to go over that way very shortly. But towards the right here, that's the way we came in. That's the bridge over uh, into Nana. But it's a, a lovely country town.
So this is uh, where we may be staying. But also it says the old Nanup police station. So I assume that's where Catherine is over here. So maybe this was the old police station. The Nanup Hotel, AKA the local town pub. And just across the road is the cafe where we had a, a good bacon and egg sandwich. I did. Catherine had an egg sandwich. And it's absolutely throwing it down now. Horrible. So it stopped raining. We've been slowly but surely making our way back to the motorhome to uh, drive down to the uh, caravan park. But we've been stuck in between showers and uh, had a quite a long chat with a guy who was uh, trying to do some post office work back at the post office and uh, realised it was closed for the public holiday. So we just had a chat with him and he was a lovely fella but it's come out really, really nice, as it does. So, this is Nano. And some totems here. On the far right is the uh, amphitheater as well, which we'll look at. So this tree here is the flood tree and he started marking it with yellow markers when uh, it flooded and in the early 2000s at the base of that bark uh, you can see the levels of where it got but uh, over the years it's been higher. Um, in 1946 it was quite high, that's the second to top sticker and that yellow sticker at the top, 1982 and that's when uh, it got as high as that so uh, they will mark this tree as and when they have uh, significant floods 